Happy Wednesday, class. My name is Max. My name is Serena. I'm Sophia. I'm Brianna. And we're here at SpeedScan to provide um, a pitch for our service and product for TJX. This new service and product, we believe, can tap into a $2 billion industry a year for um, unmade purchases, which would be in revenue, which can eventually lead to, with TJX, um, revenue turnover to $150 million in net income. So then what is the problem that we are trying to tap into for our solution? So actually 60% of retail customers said that they have come into a store or have already had things picked out and they see a humongous line and they have no intention of purchasing um, the product after they see that this line is too big and they have no time for this. So then 15% of these customers that have said that this has been an impact for them have said that this eventually impacted their um, vision of the retail store on the long, on the long term um, very negatively. So our big idea is SpeedScan, which is basically handheld scanners that are compatible with the products in the store because of a code implemented in the handheld scanners. And they're super easy to use on anybody who has a basic, basic grasp on technology. And so it's basically just to speed the process of checkout. Oh, I don't know why I don't say that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Imagine that you're a customer walking into a TJX store on a Friday evening around 5 or 6 p.m. and you only have 30 minutes to go in and get out with a perfect dress for the next night by your winter formal. However, you walk into the store and you see that it looks like it's a 20 minute line. With the speed scan, you could reduce your line weight to only five minutes and spend that extra 25 minutes shopping and trying on clothes to make sure that you find the perfect thing. Our speed scan offers an integrated, continually updating inventory system merged with TJX's barcodes on each of the products so that once a consumer puts something in their actual physical cart, they just scan it using the speed scan and it'll go into their checkout list. This causes less waiting in line and more satisfied customers overall, which in turn will save money um, with TJX from lost customers and increase TJX's revenue from increased customer shopping. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know why that so the key to success that we have so far is that we um, have in-house advanced coders to update our system continually, um, and we also have inventory managers to communicate with the TJX inventory team to make sure that what we have in our system is equal to what they have as well. TJX will be buying our inventory coding system, and while we update ours in turn with theirs, they have to update their side to make sure that the prices, the barcodes for the products, and the product names are all the same. Additionally, um, we have to outsource our manufacturing from Motorola and L3 Harris Technologies in order to get a cheaper physical product. So, our company, from the speed scan, will be able to offer TJX a solution to increase sales and customer satisfaction. This will be done through, again, through the customer retention by decreasing the amount of customers who leave the line in the store from seeing that the line is too long and they cannot afford the time to do so. And since they will be able to smoothly go and through their checkout process, they'll be happier. For TJX, by partnering up with, the, with us, it will allow them to participate in an innovative opportunity by allowing TJX to be the first retail store to integrate a handheld scanner with their shopping experience. Additionally, they'll have higher customer loyalty since they'll be more satisfied with their experience, most likely allowing them to come back to the stores more. And even the cashiers themselves, they'll be experiencing less stress when um, operating at their jobs since they wouldn't be at a position where they have to find all these little tags and scan through them all at once while they see a long line ahead of them, which is as you can assume, a very daunting task. For the customers, SpeedScan improves their checkout experience in addition to allowing them to do what they want to do when they enter a shop, to shop. They don't enter a shop to wait in line for 10 minutes. Additionally, SpeedScan allows the customers to take initiative of their shopping experience so they can pick up that SpeedScan and they are scanning their own items which it's more a self-driven activity, which can uh, bring more satisfaction in the shopping experience as well. So when looking at our target market for SpeedScan, we conducted a TAM-SAM analysis 
So at the top, you can see the worldwide TGX customers are 201.45 million. We calculated this by taking the female populations of each country that TGX operates in and multiplying it by 65%, which is the percentage of females that are likely to shop at TJX. Massachusetts has a population of 6.9 million, and specifically in the Boston, Cambridge, Newton metro area, where um, the main TGX stores need to be operating in first, um, is about 5 million. And the females within that are 51% of 5 million, or 2.5 million people. But our specific target market are females ages 12 to 24 and ages 35 to 54, which takes up 23.21% of the Boston market, or almost 600,000 um, females. So the profile of our customer are females, teenagers, young adults, and millennials, and middle-aged women in that age group. Um, this age group, or these two age groups, are open to, to technology use or are somewhat tech savvy in general. They're very busy, they want a quick shopping experience, and they're impatient. They don't want to wait in line, they want to get in and out of the store with the things that they have and that they want. They're also fashionable and interested in buying clothes once to a few times a month. So we conducted a survey to demonstrate the demand for handheld scanners. Um, so people who took our survey were mostly females, um, ages 18 to 24, which is included in what Sophia just said, our profile of the customer. And so one of the first questions we asked them is if they were to see a long line in the store, how likely would they be to leave? And the majority of people said yes, or sometimes they would leave if they see a super long line. This shows how there is a problem where people do not want to be um, sitting in a store waiting in line all the time. Um, the next question we asked is, if, would they be willing to use a handheld scanner if they were given the opportunity? And again, the majority of them said yes, showing that like this product is something that people would be interested in. And then we asked if they had ever previous, previously used a handheld scanner before, and some of them said yes. And then of the people, who said yes, the majority of them said that the, um, the scanner was helpful, showing that um, we have already kind of, we have tapped into like a people, group of people who have tested this and they think that it's profitable. Can I flip the slide really fast? Sure. I don't know why. I thought maybe we were going into Einstein's theory of relativity or something. <laughs> yeah, no, no That's chance. what it looks like, right? Is this your hobby in the spare time? Okay, this is what it looked like before. I don't know why. <laughs> well, that makes it even better. So now we're going to go into um, the logistics and kind of like the numbers of how we envision this working in the first couple of years and then eventually scaling up to the future. So then what we believe on uh, like an accurate number for the amount of speed scans that we should initiate, um, like install in the beginning would be 24. This is based on the amount of people that like said that they would use one based on our surveys. And then this would obviously have a potential to increase based on the amount of people that would use it in the future, and as more publicity and more people are, are willing to use them, we will obviously increase the amount of speed scans per store. Um, then the three stores we would like to start in are the one, the closest to here. So the Newbury Street, the Cambridge Place, and then the Washington Street. Um, these stores are, will be helpful to start with as like a test run, and then with these stores we'll foresee um, kind of like how our results go, and then that will eventually scale up to the, all the stores in the US, and not necessarily only TJ Maxx, this could include Marshalls and others in the future. Um, and then for how we will get our scanners, we are obviously outsourcing these. So we will do kind of like a half and half to kind of like cut our losses if one decides to go bad and to have leverage and being able to buy from two places. So then we would use Motorola and L3 Harris to build these scanners, who they will most likely upcharge us. So we, they will be making them for, for $50, upcharge us to 100, and we will be able to upcharge TJX to 300. So then um, the software, because we are a service and a product, so we have to deliver the product which we were outsourcing and the software which we will do in-house. And we believe that due to the high amount of, um, the high value that TJX will be able to get out of this, so the $150 million of net earnings, we will only um, charge them 1% 1 
of that a year. So 1.5 million, which turns out to just be 125,000 per month. So the financial plan, kind of how we will be making our claim to TJX that they will be able to make a lot of money, will be through two main sources, which will inherently be the customers that they would have lost, but now they're gaining, which will increase their revenue and retain earnings. And this process will also gain um, TJX because of increased consumer satisfaction. They will continue to buy things because they're more happy with the brand. So then the expected growth for the total retail market industry, it is expected to grow about 4%. So $3.8 trillion in like this next coming year. And that is like a very um, intensive industry for us to like tap into and be able to um, get some of those um, numbers for ourselves then, and for TJX. So then wages are also expected to, to increase, but then given that the revenues minus the expenses are still given up to a growth in the total retail industry. Then for TJX and <coughs> ourselves, TJX by itself without us is expected to increase um, by 14% based on like their previous years. But then with us, we believe that we can provide TJX that extra $150 million in net income, which will give them a almost 19% increase. And that's huge considering that we're talking about mil billions and trillions of dollars. So even those like 4% percentage points in an increase will give TJX a humongous blow of like more, more money. So our location would be in Lexington, Massachusetts, which is close to TGX with headquarters, and it's a cheaper alternative to Boston. And so SpeedScan, as we mentioned before, would be outsourcing the barcode scanners from primarily Motorola, as they have already worked with Giant to make handheld scanners, and their credibility will allow us to develop like a sleek, easy-to-use model for um, TGX's customers. And so, in addition to Motorola, we will also be outsourcing um, barcode scanners from L3 Harris Technologies because they are Motorola's top competitor and they also produce wireless technology. And the software we we're creating is com that's compatible with the barcodes on TGX's products. That will be created internally by programmers that we hire. And, we'll, and then TGX will be responsible for giving us information about the different barcodes on their products so we can tell our software engineers what to code into their programs and what will go into the scanner itself eventually. So in order to achieve these revenue projections, an effective marketing campaign is crucial. We will be running two marketing campaigns towards the initiation and the installment of the speed scans within the store. Before the installment, we will be having the campaign Lightning Speed in Your Hands, which will be aired on Instagram and Facebook which covers our target market. Um, on these social media platforms, there will be digital banners and 10 second videos, which will just depict the scan man, which is a superhero character with the speed scan in his hands, has the magical um, ability to speed through the stores and check out with a smooth, fun experience. Um, this will most likely entice the customers um, by making them curious on what this speed scan is and bring that initial, I guess, customers and foot traffic that we need. This um, campaign, the total cost will be $201,000, which we will cover half the cost and expect TJX to cover the remaining half since both TJX and us will be benefiting from this campaign. Once the speed scans are installed within the store, we are going to run the campaign hashtag with speed scan I can. Um, there will be um, banners within the store promoting this campaign, um, incentivizing customers with prizes that um, related to speed, such as um, motorized scooters and whatnot, um, to post on their own social media platforms using the hashtag with speed scan I can with photos of them using the speed scan and telling us about their experiences with speed scan. This is a very cost efficient marketing campaign since we wouldn't be buying the ad space. The ad space will um, kind of come from the customers sharing it with their friends and sharing their friends sharing it and so on. Um, so the total cost will only be around $8,000 again. Um, we'll be covering half of that cost, 4000 and TJX will be covering the remaining half as well. 
So our plans are possible due to our strong management team. Um, as you can see, um, all four of the management team have highly qualified um, educational degrees and past experiences, some even starting their own um, businesses within the field that they're working in. And our organization will be operated under the motto SPEED, which stands for Stewardship, Passion, Efficiency, Electricity, and Dedication, which will bring in to, in addition to treating the customers, but treating our employees based on these five principles. Um, moving on, we plan to keep the amount of staff pretty stable, except the marketing and sales and customer service team since as we expand into new stores, we expect that more um, employees will be necessary for these are more hands-on um, processes as the name is complete. So then the, our, main, um, service and so, and our main service and product is software plus hardware. So we believe that our, our competition would be any pairing of software plus hardware that could compete in an environment of scanners or just any physical thing that would be able to expedite it a process. So then Fishbowl is uh, a software company that would be able to be um, implemented, however they have no previous implementation and it's very complicated and it's more for small companies and can't handle um, a big big inventory, it's kind of like what TJX has. And then um, their digital inventory system is used online and not really with any hardware so it hasn't been implemented correctly yet. Um, then Sin7 is uh, another software that could be implemented with the hardware that we are getting from Motorola or other places. So then since seven is also, it's costly and it has also never been integrated. So um, since we are competing in kind of like a new, um, like a new combination of software and hardware, there's no other place that have done it for retail. They have done it for um, grocery industries and those would be kind of like a, a similar like tag team of two companies that would be competing with us. And then speed scan um, for, gives you rapid scanning, an easy to use interface, and a sleek look that we can customize to our, our needs. So we conducted SWOT analysis for the speed scan, SIM 7, and Fishbowl. Our strengths for speed scan is that we do offer that integrated barcode inventory technology with an actual physical scanner. And the concept of handheld scanners has worked in grocery stores such as Giant, Walmart, and Stop and Shop very well before. Our weaknesses is that we have not entered into any of the retail stores presently, so TGX would be the trial run, and that we do have a smaller task force due to being a startup company, but each of our employees is loyal to the company. Our opportunities are that the scanner technology has not been used in the retail sector, only grocery, and technology is on the rise and is being more used in retail, especially with younger consumers. Our threat says they already exist, both a strong scanner competition and barcode technology competition. So for Fishbowl, they offer a seamless QuickBooks-based inventory management system, and they do have a technology that's used with mobile phone barcode scanning, which we do not offer. Um, their weaknesses, though, is they're better for small or medium-sized companies. Their inventory system cannot handle <coughs> large corporations like TJX, and the system is quite complex and difficult to read, so the only ones that would be able to read it are highly skilled inventory managers. And their opportunities for Fishbowl is that they can be implemented into any industry and sector because they have very versatile technology and there is an increasing need for digital based inventory systems that can be altered very quickly. The threat is that there's many competing inventory management systems and Fishbowl operates with QuickBooks or Xero which are just two basic um, inventory systems so if TJX does not work within one of those, Fishbowl would be applicable. Now for Sim 7, um, they have a highly modern, easy to use inventory management interface. It's kind of like an analytics dashboard online. And they're very experienced with large corporations like Amazon and Walmart. Their weaknesses though is that they've never been integrated with the scanner at all. And it's extremely expensive software that um, is out of range for many brands to pay. The opportunities that the, they have a great chance for positive press because of happy customers such as Amazon and Walmart and there is an emerging need for continually updating inventory software. Sin 7 in particular updates their software every five minutes. The threat is that there's also competing inventory management systems and there are newer and cheaper competitors that are taking business away from Sin 7. So all in all, we believe that 
speed scan, increases customer satisfaction, um, rapid checkout, and increased sales for TJX. And then overall, our newly integrated inventory system and, um, will track products and make shopping more efficient and it is incomparable to any competitors in the market right now. Thank you very much for listening and we hope that you will consider entering SpeedScan into your TJX skills.